You've been charged for staying dedicated to the grind. You have the right to remain silent and keep the hustle to yourself or help others State with the game. your name for the record? Johnny Hanna, like Benny Hanna. Where you get that name from? Uh, it's a remedy from a former name I had, man. It's an acronym. It means things. H-A-N-A means things. That, you know, there's no statute of limitations to what I was doing when I picked that name up, so I wanted to use well, it. Well, what, what, what the name mean, man, the H-A-N? Oh, man, it really just mean, man, something ain't never available. You know, you can pick whatever words you want to pick for the H, man, but they ain't never available. They always booked up. Let's just say that. Okay, okay, man. Where are your hometown from? I'm from Hot City, California. Hot City, man. For the people that don't know, where is that located? That's at? Fresno. That's right in the heart of California, man. We 200 miles from L.A., 300 miles from Los no, from the San Francisco. So we're like right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. So who was Johnny, man, back in your high school years, man? Oh, uh, man, Johnny, man... You know what? I had, I had a cool, cool high school years. Man, I went to a lot of high schools, though. That's the thing, man. I caught a lot of trouble, but the thing was they would never put me into the continuation schools because I always had advanced test scores and over-proficient and all testing. You know, so many principals and vice principals tell me, man, why are you acting like this, man? You're a genius, man. Why are you doing these things, man? You're a genius, man. So they'll give me a pass and just put me into the next school. I'll go get all Bs and start ditching again until they're SCs, and then I'm kicked out again. It just happened over and over in high school. So you think some of your grades, your academics, saved really me. saved you a whole in a lot of areas? For sure, man. I've had those conversations with different people on different sides of the town. I went to school every side of town, my city, west side, north side, east side, every side. Man, so what's up with these custom grills, man, we've been buzzing about online? Yeah, man, that's it's for real. Let's just say it's for real, man. We already got the haters saying I'm selling fake gold. It happened so fast. It's so funny, man. It's just for real, man. I'm, I'm doing custom grills, and I feel like I'm going to be able to do this for the rest of my life. You know, 20 years from now, my son to be able to post that this is a family-owned business, 20 years in business. And 20 years after that, his son to be able to post it's been 40 years in business, you know. 20 years after that, his son to be able to say 60 years in business. It's just for real. It's but but you think custom grills would be around that long? 60, I really 60 do. Years from now? Cause this is ours, you know. As far as my people go, this is ours. They took it from us, and you know, people have really been proud of me to say you went to go grab something back for us, and I'm giving people a price they can't beat nowhere. You know, is that's all you're doing is grills? I mean, you're expanding that. That's all watches, my focus. Watches, earrings, anything else? Uh, uh, earrings. I want to do earrings. I want to do custom rings, custom pendants. I've done some custom pendants. I've lined them up, you know. Uh, but custom grills, that's the base. That's where that's where I started, and that's really where I'm. Just my focus is everywhere. I want to put a smile on everybody's face. So, what made you get into custom grills, man? Oh man, it's just so many different things. You gotta want to be different first and foremost. Want to be different. I did a lot of things in the streets that are common that everybody does. You know, a lot of the people where I grow up, we're all doing the same things. Been the same thing my dad told me he was doing when he was my age. So that means if I'm 40 years behind my dad and I'm doing the same things, I need to do something different. And you know. It just came to me like a shooting star in the middle of the night, you know, probably staring at my son's face, man. He's been having them gold caps in his mouth his whole life. So since he was about two and a half, man, them gold caps, I mean, them silver caps, man. I've been staring at those and staring at those, man, for years. So, yeah, shit. So, so what moved you from your stripper company you had going on? Oh, yeah, I did. I had Star Study Entertainment. What it was, it was the logistics, you know. Uh, the person that I am and the things I was doing before I started that business, you know, it kind of rendered me in that business to where... The girls, they're like, man, I don't know, man. You know, it might be testy to come over there. You know, they might like it too much. They might not like it enough, you know. I might I might stress people too hard. You know, I stay focused. That's why I got it on my face right here. Stay so focused. if I say, if you're going to work for me, you know, it's really going to be work. You ain't worried about jail time, man? Shit hitting the fan or what? Um, I'm on probation. I did some jail time last year. When I bounced out, this is what my plan was, to do custom grills. I, they thought I was crazy. I was talking about, man, I'm going to do grills. Man, I'm going to do grills right before I went in. And, you know, and uh, I popped out, and uh, it took months. It took days and weeks and weeks and phone calls and websites and a million places, a million page books, man, like, to figure out how do I get my hands on it. Now, yeah, well, how do you get your hands on it, man? How do you get the gold for a low that you make a profit out of it? Um, you have to pay up front just to get the catalog. Mm. So if, you, if these companies, you know, they could put the price they want to put on it. They could fake it like it's for real. You know, I've been, I've been fucked over. I put money into envelopes and made money orders and, and cashed at companies that stopped responding once they got my money, but I didn't let it stop me. I found a company that was for real, you know, I got on the flight, you know, I learned from those mistakes yeah. and I caught the flight and I showed up at their front door after FaceTiming them. They see my face. They knew it was for real. So take us to um, Highway Johnny, man. Who's Highway Johnny? That's, that's my, 
that's that was my rap. Band. That's when I was when I was into the music really heavy. You know, I was Highway Johnny. That's what it was. You know, because I was just straight off what I was doing. I was on the road getting my money. So what, what kind of genre was your music, man? Was it more like sugar free or what? A little bit of sugar free. You know, I was really uh, this was like around 2013, 14, 15. So I was really into music like. Mm, you know, I don't copy nobody. I really was so original. I think that's a little bit why my buzz couldn't get as high as it was. And people, you know, I always felt bigger about myself. So instead of me naming my mixtape or making my coin phrase about myself or my homies, I named the whole city. I named the city Hot City. And my CDs were called Hot City. And we were trying to make takes to shoot a movie called Hot City. And they didn't like that. I stopped calling it Fresno. I was calling it Hot City everywhere I went, every time I was on Facebook. What y'all doing in Hot City today? They're like, boy. Who you? Who is you to name to name the city? We Grizzly City. We the Central Valley. We this. We that. Man, we hot city, man. man well, how is the music scene in Fresno, man? Because uh, down here in LA, we don't really hear much. Y'all home. Y'all. This is the hub. It, coming to LA is like coming to hang out with our rich cousins. We <laughs> love it. I love it. I love the music. I love the rappers I meet when I go out because everybody got some kind of. You know, everybody knows somebody to do some music. But Fresno's rap scene, you know, uh, they got some hot buzzing people right now. Like as far as. The top of the totem pole in Fresno, they doing their thing. So you know? who's the, the buzz right now in Fresno on music scene? Um, I would like to say mainly TNO, which is a rap group. And you know, they could come to me and come get their grills and come get their chains. Let's get those made and let's do something special for the city. But TNO, they really hot. Sean F doing million of views on uh I'm gonna say these people's name, but they wouldn't get an interview and say my name. But you know, S Love's really hot in the city. Raj B Serves been the biggest artist as far as the black biggest black artist. Beza has been the biggest Hispanic rap artist out of the city. Like I know more, I haven't missed none of it. So you know what, what made mean? you want to get out the, the music game, man? Um, probably a little bit of way the way I got into it. It was my brother's dream. He was rapping. He had a manager when he was twelve. They gave him keys to the studio at sixteen. And by the time he was eighteen, he was he was tired of paying for beats. So he started making beats. And he told me at sixteen, you're finna go in the studio now. So as that went on, once he got to the point where his beats were being sold and he don't got too many more free beats from me, yeah. I was like, man, I got to do something else too, man. I didn't I didn't pay the cameraman. I didn't pay for the promotion. I didn't did the rap. I didn't put out the hard copy CDs. I didn't been on iTunes, been on that piff. I didn't been on so many. I, I was My music was spread out. I think that's where I went wrong as well. I didn't just have it centered on one thing. Appreciate I was on YouTube, SoundCloud, that piff, iTunes. Uh, I was on Cygnus.net. It's all type of pages. So, were you getting paid gigs? Were you making money off this? Uh, making zero dollars off the rap. And so that's where you're trying to turn zero dollars. dollars Just back. spending money on it, looking good, clothes, cars, all of that. You know, I never really paid nobody to be in a music video. My homies all pulled up. You know, whoever was gonna be in the video was gonna be in it. So I didn't have to do stuff like that. But you know, locations. You know, if I had to pay to get a location, I would. Like, I I don't mind digging in my pocket for it. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, we all grow up. You know, I was 21, 22, 20. And, you know, I grew out of that already. So basically, the custom grills, you already made profit? Period. So that's the way to go. I made profit within the second week because I kind of just got blessed. You know, uh, the first person, I was telling people I was doing grills for months. Nobody believed it. Nobody wanted to hear it. It was just John talking again, another plan, just like the star study, just like the yeah. rapping. Just another plan. So, so how does somebody go about getting a custom grill from you? Man, you can inbox me on Instagram. You can inbox me on Facebook. You can call my phone number. I will take the time to figure out what you want, how you want it. Send me a picture from somewhere else, or we could come off the top of your head. We'll we'll get it down, and I'll invite you right into my home. If you're in my home, I have customers in Florida, Minnesota. I already have customers in Canada. Like I've already shipped packages out all over America, and I've, it's really been short since I got my first sale. So what's the budget a person need to contact you? Any budget. Any budget, literally any budget. I can get somebody a grill for a hundred dollar bill. Any budget, cause I'm not. When I when I tell people I got it, I got it. I'm family. You know, I'm I'm really in where I'm supposed to be. And you know, they welcome me with uh, open arms when I got when I showed up at the front door where I was supposed to be at. You know. Okay, let's talk about the time you spent in jail, man. Now, how long was that? I just spent long in jail. Uh, just ninety days, LA County Jail. They took me, sent me off the wayside. So what did a cat from Fresno get caught up in LA County? Coming, coming out of San Diego, you know, I was into, uh, I was doing some things, you know, and uh, everything in the car wasn't exactly idolized by the white man. So when I got popped, because the car, we got in the car wreck, so we on the side of the road, Beamer 650, shopping bags in the back, you know, possession of some stuff in the car, 
some other things, you know, and I pretty much had to go sit down for a little bit. But, you know, they, you know, because of being, being so packed, they let me write out. So yeah, it's not like I was yeah, in there for too long. Out. I got right out. You know, I'm on probation for it. Long probation stint, though. I'll be on that for like four or five years. Yeah, that, it must be that felony probation. Yeah, felony yeah. probation for sure. So the, the whole cuss and grill just fall in line is a, a slowing your roll down, you think? What it was is 2018, I just started blowing through my the, the money I really made. I kind of like what made a small fortune in the streets. I push it aside. And I was just blowing through it in 2018. So this is your way to invest. To get yeah. Because I felt like with the stripper company, I was investing in people that didn't want to do nothing for themselves. I'm, I'm getting this. I got the photographers ready. I'm buying thousand dollar cameras. Come on, we're gonna build a stripper company. We're gonna take pictures of these beautiful women. You got friends. I got friends. They got friends. Everybody got friends. We're gonna do the stripper company. Uh, and I blew the money. Just it didn't come back. It didn't come back fast enough. So basically, so, you lost money in the artist game, being music. Then the stripper game lost money in that. And now you didn't hit gold with the custom grill. Man, it's so crazy because it comes back to fruition, man. When I was like my the first mixtape my brother told me to put out, it was called Game Like Gold. And it's just crazy how it just. No, no, tell, tell the viewers, man, how, how it is they, they keep taking L's but never quit. Oh, man, taking L's, you got to know it's going to come, which you got to be built for it, you know? You just got to know that um, I don't, I feel like money is like water. Like, you got to have it, and it's a lot of it in this world. So, yeah, I'll lose the money. I'll lose money and never blink about it because I'm going to go make some more. Exactly. As far as cash money goes, we're going to get some more of that for sure. So, I, I heard you mention your son, man. Uh, how old is your kid? My son just turned six about two weeks ago. Six. And you want him to follow your footsteps as for an sure. entrepreneur, as the custom grills, right? Johnny, the, I'm Johnny the jeweler. He's going to be Jody the jeweler. Can't wait. You already said in the foundation, man. Can't smooth. wait. Now, take us back to your first custom grill sale, man. How that happens? Man, that was just word of mouth, man. Uh, I got somebody to come through the house, first sale, bam. Mold him up, whip him up, throw it on Instagram. He got him a you know, bunch of teeth, about 18 teeth. Man, within 10 minutes, somebody else tell me, bro, I'm pulling up. I want diamonds. Cool. Come through. Come get you molded up. Whip him up, mold him up, right? Man, before he walked out my house, he said, look, I want you to come to my house Friday. I'm gonna invite some friends. Come through. When I showed up, man, it's gated community. Boy pulled up in a Maserati looking good, man. So I believe when he told me to come through, I came through. Gated community had to send his girl out and give me the number to get to the fence, blah, blah. Man, I pull up in the house, man. They at least 11 or 12 cats in up in there. Chopping it up, they got their ladies with them and everything. Everybody want teeth. Everybody, day one, like I, like, tch. Everybody, I mowed up everybody. I botched some, got to throw them in the trash and whip it back up again and do them again. Like, I'm gonna make sure I get everybody done right. And man, them grills start popping out. They start popping out once I got back to work. You know, for once I did that, I really slowed down. I didn't take another mode in probably for a week because I just want to focus on those teeth. Just focus on those teeth, like just those ones. Like so I get you, this, you, you design it uh, hand by hand, each each mouth. We talking about it, which however you want it, or we could get it like that. We could put Grind Face TV on the teeth and laser simulation. Okay. So have you ever thought about um, are we being paranoid or being an easy lick? Uh, yeah. Not at all. So you ain't worried about going to Johnny House and it's a whole robbery they set up, man? They know you me. Gotta, and they ain't going to get a chance at none of that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, sh ain't no shop where my son sleep. How are he ever going to sleep? He got school in the morning. You know, okay. all I do at home is take moles. You want to come rob me from putty? You a weirdo. So but, you, uh, you more you want you got a strategy with your shit. You just ain't running around with mm. diamonds all over you. Nah, man, I'll, I'll plead <laughs> the fifth, man. Somebody asked me about some diamonds, man. Except for my customers. All right, do your do your city back you, man, with this whole um, custom grill movement? It's 50 50. 50 50. I'm getting the love. I'm getting the. I'm getting a lot of more inquiries about how. People are asking for grills. A lot of people, you know, I got, you know, a lot of avenues for them to reach me, you know, through my brother's pages, through my, my other Facebooks, my tablets. I got a couple different Facebook pages, you know. So the messages are going up every day. Instagram, my Instagram personal and the Westside Code, my Instagram, all of that. So uh, they're, the people that want it are. The people that don't want it, instead of just staying out of my business, they're going to ask, how you doing it? Or they gonna say maybe it's fake. They wanna see somebody else's first. But they still building a buzz for you anyway. Man, anyway, so man, all publicity is good publicity. So competitors, man, you got any competitors going out there? Um, I'm the I'm the competitor. 
So you just because as long as we've been there, it's been the same answers. Where you get your grill from downtown? Where you get your grill from downtown? Where'd you get it from? Oh, I drove up to Sac. Oh, I drove down to L.A. I went down to the Slauson. It's all love. So but now, how, how Johnny, do you promote, man? I'm promoting Instagram, Facebook. You know, word of mouth mainly, but the internet is mainly my number one avenue. Okay, so who? Let's talk about who was your highest profile sale, man. Um, I'm gonna plead the fifth on that, but I'm gonna say, uh, just tune into the NFL draft this April. You know, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna snatch my blessing or his blessing away. You know, I feel you. So you got somebody in the draft, but this is gonna show your teeth, man. That, that's a move right there. Hey, man, he's gonna make his mama proud, and I'm gonna make my mama proud. Hopefully, we can do it simultaneously. You feel me? So, um, in the future, man, what's your next kind of business you plan on working on? Probably. Well, my little sister, she sells homes, so I'm probably going to try to get into that Airbnb game, man, get get something under my hands and just sell it out. You well, know, the Airbnb, man, they trying to get tighter with the, the rules and regulations on that, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. So, <laughs> you know, it's hard for us to get into anything. They probably thought I could never get into go. So, you know, who knows, man. So how many sales did you make last year, man? <sighs> man, I plead the fifth on that. Uh, must be pockets must be looking really good then, hey, huh? Man, hey man, we won't we won't, we won't mess with. Okay, it. since you don't want to tell us the sales, man, what about promo? What kind of promo you got going on for your new customers? Man, I definitely right now, as of today, we definitely been doing the Black History, man. We're gonna do the Black Friday. You know, it's probably two to three Black Fridays left. So the first person to text my phone, you gotta go to the West Side Go on my Instagram to get the phone number. It's in the bio. The first person to text my phone Friday morning, eight a.m. The first person to text the word black to my phone is going to get a free grill, man, four teeth, however you want them. Now, what day is Black Friday? Are you, are you saying Every anything? Friday of February. Yeah, black Friday? Every Friday of February is Black Friday. Shit, I just learned that dude today, man. Yeah, man. Well, this is <laughs> our Black Friday. <laughs> who would you like to make a grill for, man? Who you want to see in your um, grill? First and foremost, I want to do a grill for anybody that want to be able to say they got their grill for me, you know, a black jeweler. Like, those are the customers I want. As far as high profile, probably the people like that I haven't seen with one, like the YGs. I haven't seen Missy with one. I don't really want to make I want to do fresh ones like Javante Davis, the boxers, you know, uh, guys like that. Probably some cats in the NFL, my favorite guys in the NFL. I don't know if they wear grills on the offseason or not, but, you know, guys like that. One day I'll be there, you know. If not me, my son will. If not him, his son will, you know. So where where do you get, man, the diamonds that go for a good price? I'm going to need my lawyer to answer questions like that, my man. I'm not, I'm not going to be honest, man. It's, it's over. Right, I'm going to need my lawyer for something like that. I understand. I understand, man. Grind face.